Now the definition of homeopathy, as I say, revolves around the law of similars. Now that law is only three words, like cures like, or as some like to put it in Latin, similia similibus corentur. And this, to explain it, is quite easy. It means that the symptom can be cured by something which is like the symptom. I will give you a number of examples for two reasons. One, for you to understand what the law of similars is. And second, for you to understand why we say it is a law. There is a very easy example. Most of you fell on their head, on their knee and whatever. For many of you, maybe your mother or someone pushed on the bump on your head. This is an instinctive reaction applying the law of similars. First, there is the pressure, the hitting on the head, which is cured, treated, if I may say, by again pressing on the bump. This pressing on the bump is similar to the pressing to the being hit by the ground. And it is a very interesting way to first alleviate the pain and second to take care that the bump on the head doesn't cause too much problems, not too much of a reaction. This is a very simple, intuitive way that many mothers have applying the law of similars. How you treat a problem of pressure by pressing. Another interesting example is the Arabs or all the people living in the desert in the very hot places. What do they drink? Cold coke? No. We see them sitting with hot coffee. So they use the hot drink in the hot weather because they know, according to the law of similars, that heat should be treated by heat. Another interesting anecdote, which is in a way an application of the law of similars, is this little story from the practice of Milton Erickson, the famous psychiatrist. The story goes that he was once called upon treating a patient, a psychiatric patient that was acting in a very erratic and irrational way and uh, laughing and uh, yelling and, uh, and narrating and, and behaving very frantic. And nobody could approach this person, let alone treat him. So what Milton Erickson did is go and watch that person again and again and again. They didn't speak. Then one day he went to that person and he imitated the person. He acted, he laughed, he yelled. He spoke in the same way as that person, like as if he was conversing with that person. Do you see the similarity? Well, the fantastic end of this story is that suddenly this person stopped behaving as he was behaving for so long and said, yes, I understand, I must stop with this behavior. And it was like an instant change in this behavior that he obtained by applying a similar behavior to the patient.